Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to a windy old day in Lincolnshire, but it's a beautiful blue, sunshiny day. We're having this heat wave, and you can see I need to cut my grass a little bit. I've not been on top of it. Um, but today is getting out a car that you don't really see on the channel, and you haven't really seen on the channel. There's some spaces here, by the way, because two protons have gone. Uh, and there's some videos on the channel about that. Uh, but today we're looking at something different. Uh, it might interest you, it might not. Um, it's something like this that's brown and cream. Uh, it's an Armstrong Sidley Lancaster. It's a 1949 Armstrong Sidley. There's the Black Knight, there's another Proton, there's an Audi. Um, and the intention in this video then is to get this up and running and uh, out and to Dad's house for a little bit of a once-over, ready for the summer showing season. If you haven't seen the videos about this car on the channel, um, there are some up there. And also, my friend Steph from iDriver Classic um, has reviewed this car. She's driven it, and it's the one that is on her channel as well. It's 2023 when I'm filming this. Last year, uh, the car didn't move at all. I didn't take it anywhere. Um, and I haven't fired this car up, well, I, I've neglected it, is the honest answer, since uh, Steph came and drove it. Well, it was. It was February... I can't remember now. Was it February 22? Who knows? Um... No, it was February 21. My goodness, how time flies when you're having fun. So this car hasn't been out since 2021. Uh, we showed it in the summer season of 21. Uh, and I'm taking it to a few shows uh, this summer, hopefully, if the weather stays nice and everything goes to plan. Um, so the first thing is to get it sort of fired up and make sure it's all ticking and running. I've got a new distributor to fit. It doesn't, well, I say it doesn't need a new distributor. It does need a new distributor because the distributor that is in it is the wrong distributor and the bob weights we've had to sort of tie up because it rotates the wrong way. Um, no idea who put that in there, why that was in there, um, but effectively when you put your foot on the, the, the pedal, um, it retards as opposed to advances because the bob weights are spinning the wrong way. So we've, we've modified that so it works but hopefully this new distributor um, is going to solve the problem. And it's one I picked up off eBay a year and a bit ago. It's been totally overhauled by Dad, and hopefully it's the right thing. But the first port of call is to get the car up and running and round to Dad's house um, before we can do any work on it. So this video then is starting the car up, fingers crossed, <laughs> getting the other two moved and getting it out of the garage, and then there'll be a separate video about uh, us fitting a new distributor and how the car is working. Uh, if you haven't already done so, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. There's a few things we need to do, and as you can see at the moment, I've got the battery on charge, 13.2 it's showing. Um, and actually, I uh, haven't had my smart charger on this for about a year, so the fact that my smart charger is working on it is a good sign. I've been neglecting a few things, including this GE, uh, sorry, SE Proton, um, which has now currently got a battery charger on it as well. That's the Magma engine. Um, and there's the Black Knight, of course, which is not neglected, um, apart from it's dusty. Um, so in this video, then, we'll get this car started up and go from there. The inspector is here. Uh, hello, good morning. What are you inspecting? Snuffling. Uh, first of all, then, we need to move these cars out the way, get them moved so I can throw these doors open wide uh, and hopefully reverse the car out. So I'm going to put the Audi there and this Proton, I don't know, somewhere in the bin, who knows, uh, over here somewhere, and uh, we'll get them started up and moved. So I've got my Audi moved, uh, which has left a bit of a patch here. You can see I've had it here for a a week or so uh, and it's time to move this proton now I'm gonna whack it there which is where another proton was and you can see that I'm getting into a stage where I need to get rid of some cars because they're a deteriorating and b damaging the grass and ruining our garden we're working hard to get our garden looking semi nice ready for summer um, so there's a few things that needs to happen so that needs to go uh, this needs to be sorted out um, and this is in for stripping. Uh, I've connected my battery pack up, absolutely no idea if it will start, uh, but uh, we shall try, we can only try. Mm. Oh yeah, oh no.
It's not a good sign, is it? Let's try it again. Connect the battery pack. Connect that up. It does start. I've moved it, so it must start, right? Start again. Oh, I've got a check engine light. Oh dear. Check engine oil. There she goes. <laughs> and there's a very good reason why she sounds very throaty because there's no exhaust on it. I've taken the exhaust off the car so it is just going to sound a bit grim. My garden's a mess. My pond needs sorting out. This all needs sorting out. Uh, right, let's move this now. I've moved it. It sounds hilarious when you rev it. It sounds like a hot rod. <laughs> right, I'm going to uh, blast this off with the mower. Get them doors open. I've got my multi-purpose low and slow out. This is for doing naff garden work. So I'm just going to blast that grass off. Oh, Mrs. John Cooton's here, cat wrangling. And uh, the inspector's here as well. So we're going to get that blasted off. Um, and we're going to try and get that Armstrong out. Right, so I'm in a position now where I've just blasted off the top of this grass. It's ever so wet. Sunny as anything, but ever so wet. Um, I can open these doors. Let's do it. Let's get the doors open. Mrs. John Cooten's cat wrangling over there. Let's go see the cat. So this is our newest cat. And she's not allowed out on her own yet. <laughs> there's Crystal. It's the tummy rubs inspector. She's got her paddling pool out, and there's the new cat, Misty, and uh, Mrs. John Cooton is cat wrangling. So while she's doing that, I'll get these garage doors open, and it will. It will be the first time in getting these open in about a year. Uh, the last time these doors were open, the Black Knight came out for the Festival of the Unexceptional. Uh, you might say, that's a bit of a waste, John. It is. I'm saddened that I haven't... Uh, had more cars out recently. Uh, make sure I'm not going to hit that. Yes. These go in the ground. Well, would you believe it? I can't believe that. Oh no, because it's the wrong one. I thought the door had moved that much. Oh, I need to dig that out actually. Else that's going to be whapping about. Uh, right, need to get the mud out of that hole. It's always worrying when you move a car and you find a bolt on the floor. I think that's from the exhaust. I hope it's from the exhaust that I've removed anyway. I'll, uh, I'll just get rid of that and put that in the bin. Right, time to see if we can fire her up. Okay, doors are open. Battery is nearly charged. Um, so the fuel needs priming. Um, this, you can't probably see because it's dark, is the fuel pump and it needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's still an airlock in there. There we go. There we go. That's it. The fuel pump is primed. I'm going to take off the battery charger and see if she starts. Okay, so I am in the driver's bay. The kill switch is engaged. It's in neutral. I've actually forgotten how to drive this. Uh, the ignition is on. We're showing petrol. We've got panel lights. The handbrake is on and off. The horn works. Uh, let's try and start her up. Oh yeah, with the start button. Okay. So as I expected, she's not starting straight away.
Struggling. I obviously don't want to flood it. We're getting somewhere. Pull the choke out. That might help. Well, she's running. If you pull the choke all the way out, she dies. So if you pull the choke about three quarters of the way out, she runs. It's obviously a hot day, but the car hasn't been started up for, oh my goodness. A year, well, Mrs. John Cooper has told me it's exactly a year. We had her out for a friend's wedding. So I'm just gonna rev her a bit. Oil pressure is uh, good. Petrol gauge flicks about a bit. Just gonna let her warm up for a moment. We'll put her in reverse. And we'll try and uh, get her out. Here it goes. Well, she started. She's ticking over, she's running. She's out in the garage. There's uh, <laughs> now time to look at oil leaks. Oil leak, oil leak, oil leak. But she's running. Uh, let's get her out and gone. Well, she's started, she's out, and she's running. But will I get her to dance? That's the next question. Uh, we shall find out. There's a new dint in that door. Uh, I've got the gate open, so it's time to go and uh, take her for a ride. If you've enjoyed the video, let me know, there'll be some more coming up in the next week or so uh, about this one. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And until next time, have a great day whatever you're getting up to. I'll be in the 40s for the next 20 minutes or so. Have a great day, take care, goodbye. Looks like we made it.